morning guys what's up welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new today is thursday and tomorrow i have a new drop so i'm gonna be working on lots of stuff for somebody today i went on a run this morning and i'm about to make some breakfast i have a hair appointment at 11 and i'm just gonna work on stuff for the store until then coffee drawer is fully stocked with duncan pumpkin because you guys know it's my favorite i'm gonna make a few eggs for breakfast I'm just gonna eat breakfast and respond to some emails and check the status of some shipments that I have coming and then we'll get started for the day. Super exciting, I got a package yesterday from Windsor and I thought I would just start out the vlog with a little Windsor haul. The first thing is this really cute faux leather skirt and it's just like that pencil style skirt. I think that these are so perfect to style with sweaters. I just feel like they look so cute with like a really big oversized knit sweater and like boots or something. The next thing is super, super fall and I'm very excited for this. It's basically this really pretty camel colored like long blazer, but it's made of like a fabric -y material, not a blazer material. So it is like really comfortable and it's super long and it has pockets. And I totally thought these pockets were fake on the website, but they're actually real pockets. So that's pretty cute. I don't want to sit on the ground. This next thing is a super popular dress that I've been seeing all over social media, this black rib dress. But what I really like about it is it's like a heavy double lined material. So even though it's like this on the outside, the inside is you can't even see. It's like, I don't know, like a thin cotton, so it's double lined, and I just think this is gonna look so, so cute with like a flannel thrown over top. And I will be sure to link everything that I'm talking about. So I got a pair of black denim pants. They have rips all along here, and they are just high rise skinny jeans, so I'm really excited to try these on. I hope that they fit me. This really cute flannel style jacket, and this is also like a double lined material. Super big tortoise colored buttons, and this, I feel like this would be really cute with that dress for like a Florida look, because obviously it doesn't really get that cold here. Okay, and then the last thing that I got is a, faux leather jacket. So I have one of these from Blank NYC that I got from Nordstrom a while ago, but the hardware on it is rose gold, which I love, but I feel like it just doesn't go with everything. So I really wanted to get just like a very basic faux leather jacket that also was more of a toned down leather color. Cause as you guys can see, this is like not a shiny leather. It's more of like a matte leather finish. And the one that I have now is like that really shiny sheen leather. So I feel like this is just what I needed. So cute, just a basic leather jacket with the typical silver hardware and it has the buttons. I can't wait to try all this stuff on. That is everything I got from Windsor. So yeah, I'm gonna try all that on and it's currently 10 o'clock. My hair appointment's at 11, so I'm gonna leave in like 30 minutes. So I'm gonna have Chad come in and help me put in all the shipping weights. We have like this system, he helps me every week. So I get my shipping scale out and I put it next to him by the computer and then I, he'll tell me like what to grab, like the Kylie crop top or something, and then I'll go grab it, put it on there, and he will enter the weights for me. That way it's like way faster. Here's the current state of my closet. These three bins are all upcoming inventory that I have to go through and tag today. Fun times. Got a nice coffee and I am at the hair salon and I'm so excited to get my ends chopped. My hair is like so dead from bleaching it. So when I come out of here, it's gonna look a little blonder and it's gonna be chopped and she's toning it. I also changed again. I'm wearing this really cute like fall tank top. I feel like it's the perfect like Florida fall shirt because it's short sleeve, but it's also like a really pretty fall color. And then I just paired it with some black shorts and my Burks. And then I'm also wearing this really cute lightning strike necklace and the matching lightning strike earrings. And these are both from Sun Bunny and they're coming this Friday. This necklace was actually already on my store a while back, but it's gonna be restocked, but the earrings are completely new. So I'm gonna go to my hair appointment. I'll talk to you guys when I get out. I am back home now. Do not mind the disaster that is behind me, but I want to show you guys my hair. So I got a little bit chopped off and obviously it's toned. It looks so pretty and it feels so healthy. Really glad I decided to get a little off. It definitely looks shorter right now, I feel like, than what it really is just because it's curled. Um, but this is the new hair. I love it. It's now almost 4.30 and I'm really feeling the midday slump. Seriously, just want to go lay down and play Animal Crossing or something. I just like don't feel like doing work anymore. But I actually have so many things that I have to tag and I still have listings to create for stuff that's going live tomorrow. So 
there will be no relaxing. It is time to power through. I'm somehow officially finished with all of that inventory. I can't believe how fast I got it done. I just sat down and I was like, Melissa, we're done. There's no more time left to waste. I feel like sometimes you just have to like get started and get in the zone and then you just get it done. So I got all of that done and it feels so good because I've just been like dreading going through all of that. It just creates so much trash to clean up and it's also just time consuming, but Got it done. You know that you have officially reached adulthood when a package full of cleaning supplies is very, very exciting to you. And I got all of this stuff from Infuse. This was sent to me complimentary and I'm gonna link it all in the description. The video is not sponsored by them, but I did get these products for free and I'm so excited to try them out. Uh, they're all about more sustainable cleaning and so all of their products are non-toxic, but I really love the fact that these bottles are reusable and they're sold at Target. So whenever I run out of the cleaner, I literally just go and buy one of these refillable like concentrates and you mix it with water. So they have one specifically for glass and window for bathroom and then an all-purpose one and then I'm super excited because I also got the microfiber cloths so this is all-purpose this one is for the bathroom and this one is for windows and glass and I love them because they're all like differently textured specific to what you're cleaning and you guys know when I get cleaning I get in the zone so having like new cleaning products is actually really exciting because I kind of enjoy cleaning. I also got this really cute storage caddy that actually has these little holes in here where you can store the refills. So I think Chad and I will check those out on our next trip to Target. It says that it fits up to five infused spray bottles and eight infused concentrated cartridges. And then of course the extra compartments so that you can put the cloths and stuff. So this should literally hold like everything. And then I also got the multi-surface spray mop. So this is very similar to a Swiffer, but of course it's made with the infused. So it's definitely a lot better of a product and I'm really excited because this is safe for all floor types so we can use it on the tile but more importantly on my new office vinyl flooring so it is safe for that and this one is in Meyer lemon which is one of my favorite clean scents anything lemon I just love it so I can't wait to pop this thing open and clean my office Floors in my office are already gross, so I just decided I would go ahead and vacuum and mop them so I can try this out. So here's a little cartridge. It says to just put it in and then screw the lid on. I had to put the camera down to screw this on all the way, but you could hear it pop and the solution just kind of came out. Here we go, guys. I'm a big fan of that spray mop. The smell is amazing. It smells way better than the Swiffer that we normally use. And I really like that all we have to do is buy the little replaceable cartridges and mix it with water instead of buying like an entire container jug thing of cleaner. I just feel like it makes so much sense. Why was this not a thing sooner? Chad and I are currently at Alyssa's house because I had to come and feed her kitten, which you guys haven't met yet because when I was over here last weekend or the other weekend, I don't think I was vlogging that day, so you guys haven't met Piper. This is Piper, Alyssa's kitten. 
I just fed her her wet food, so she's a little busy right now. But Alyssa's on a trip this weekend, and so I had to come and scoop her litter box and feed her all weekend. So I get to hang out with her. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Holy smells trooper. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what is that? What is that? <laughs> she's trying to get it. She's trying to get it. Can't have it. That's not a toy. <laughs> she's straight up climbing up my pant leg. Alyssa is so sweet. She left me a Starbucks gift card because she just knows me too well. I'm back home now and earlier this week I kind of organized my shipping station and I just wanted to show you guys because I know that you guys will appreciate this organization right here. So this is kind of like my free gift section. I really like throwing in little gifts as well as handwritten cards because it just means so much to me when you guys place an order with my store. And to show my gratitude, I like to throw in a free gift as well as a handwritten card. And here are the latest free gifts. When I first started Sunbunny, all I would give away was scrunchies and they were all different colors, but I've since switched over to really pretty neutral colored scrunchies. I also have Sunbunny keychains, which I love. I have one of these on my keys, just such a cute little accessory. And of course, I have some bunny pop sockets, some bunny organic lip balms. These are super moisturizing. And then in here, I just have these really cute little pearl clips and then one of these die cut stickers. And then this whole thing is just filled with sun bunny stickers. These are just circular stickers. And then over here, I just have the cards and Sharpies and all of that. I've got some poly mailers over here and a bunch more in my drawer over there to refill. And then same with this stuff. So I've got my smaller Sun Bunny poly mailers and then these big pink ones with stars on them, which are so pretty. My label maker's over there and I will usually set up my tissue paper on this side so that way I am like super efficient at packing orders now. Chef Chad did it again. Tonight's dinner is, ooh, that one's split open. <laughs> Um, pierogies, which are so good. I think these are, what are they called? Like three cheese or something? Four cheese blend. Four cheese blend pierogies, baked, and some, of course, Brussels sprouts with red pepper flakes because it makes them a little spicy and they're so good. And he made us pork chops. Oh my gosh. I love this man. You gotta have a man who cooks for you because there is nothing more romantic than when the person you love cooks a meal for you. Like there's just, I don't know. It's a special thing. Chad and I finished eating dinner and now we are about to start The Haunting of Bly Manor. And I can't remember if last year I talked about The Haunting of Hill House, but it was honestly one of the scariest shows for me that I ever watched. Like I literally had nightmares and I love scary shows, but that one just got to me. So I was very excited to watch The Haunting of Hill House. And we are now down to, I mean, The Haunting of Bly Manor. And we are now down to the last three episodes. So pretty excited, but also sad to see it end. I do not think it was as scary as The Haunting of Hill House. Um, I don't know. I guess maybe my expectations were too high, but it is still really good. So yeah, we are finishing that up. I won't say anything in case you haven't watched it yet. I don't want to give away any spoilers, but I am going to end this vlog here. I just need to edit these last few clips and I'm going to try to get this up tonight. So thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.